How to switch your hold points from the in connection to the out connection. Practicate gives you the ability not only to change the various base points you hold your entities, but also from the different connections, in or out. Notice in the combo box we have the choice in for the in joint, out for the first out joint, like rectangular duct has one out, out two for fittings like square T's that have an out left and an out right, and out three for duct that has three openings like a three-way Y. By switching through the choices in the combo box, we can change the hold points that we use when we're placing down duct. In this tutorial, we're going to grab a piece of rectangular duct. Notice that we're holding that duct by the center, center, in. Therefore, my crosshairs are placed exactly there. If I would like to hold it by the center, center, out to place this down, I can switch it to out one. Now notice that the duct hasn't changed orientation. I am just holding it by a different point. It is important to understand that in Practicad, we always connect out joints to in joints and in joints to out joints. This maintains good duct line integrity, and there are many advanced tutorials on maintaining duct line integrity. In this tutorial, we're just going to show you how to control the different in and out points. Here, we're going to switch it back to in, and now I'm going to place the duct on the drawing. You can see that I am now holding the next piece of ductwork by the in, so naturally, I would be able to snap this directly to this existing duct. You will always know if the connectivity is good because Practicad will usually resize the duct to fit. In joints can be made so that they do not attach to other in joints. This is an option, and there are tutorials on that option that we recommend check called duct line in out attachment. And there is the ability to check in out attachment as you draw. What check in out attachment means is that I would be unable currently to snap this duct. To this joint because I'm holding the duct by the in and I'm trying to snap it to the in joint of another duct. Notice it doesn't resize. This is because I have this option checked. The tutorial for that will follow after this one. Once again, I'm holding the duct by the in and I'm now going to snap it to the out joint of this duct. If I would like to attach duct to this one before, what I should do is change my hold point to the out. Now I'll be able to bring ductwork over and since I'm holding it by the out joint, it will easily snap to the in joint. This is very important to take a look at what you're holding whenever you're attaching ductwork. That'll conclude this tutorial on in out.